nerd podcast going back to you with your best graphics cards for your money starting on the entry level hd gaming we're going to be looking at the geforce gt 730 this card really is good for low gaming like if you're going to be playing with flash games and stuff it's it could get you into some games with better graphics but it's going to be uh 72 dollars and two cents and i mean if you're really on a tight budget that, that's uh, actually not too bad of a card to go for moving up we're going to go for a mainstream card for cheap the hd radeon 7770 is i can't believe it's this low a hundred dollars on amazon it's pretty unbelievable to see a card like this two months ago i remember this being way more and moving on up even past that would be the Radeon R7 260X. This card is actually selling $30 more than the GTX 750 Ti, which I think makes it a little bit better. Um, it runs better, so I mean for the price of $124.99, I mean you're really getting a lot more bang for your buck in this one. It's still under the $150 range, so it's such a good deal. It's the equivalent to an overclocked Radeon 7790, and that's still a really good card. You can pretty much play all your games at 1080p uh, using medium quality details, so this is going to be one of those cards I highly recommend. Moving up to Enthusiast Gaming. This card's going to be $189.99. It's the Radeon R9 280. This card's really good. It's got capable graphics. It's going to be replaced by the Radeon R9 285, but right now for the price it is below $250, which is crazy. Um, $189.99. You really can't beat that for this. You're going to be playing games in HD, medium, and even higher, and probably with most of them right now. And the mighty powerful high resolution graphics card I'm recommending right now for $340 on Amazon. It's going to have to be the GeForce GTX 970. This card is a beast. It can handle high end HD games you throw at it. It's pretty friggin' remarkable. If you got the money for it, this is the card I would get because for the price, it's just a monster. It can pretty much run anything you can throw at it. It's really, really good. I think the Radeon R9 290X can be found for a little bit less, but I still think that the GTX is my recommendation. For very high performance and efficiency, I'm going Gonna recommend the GeForce GTX 980. It's undeniable that NVIDIA's new GeForce GTX 980 offers the highest frame rates we've seen from any single GPU. It's definitely the most efficient. At uh, $560, it's it's reasonable when you consider the GeForce GTX 780 Ti is gonna sell for $660. But now that the 780 Ti has all but disappeared from the market, we turn to this card. I mean, this is the card you want to get right now. And the ultimate dual GPU card you can get right now is going to have to be, I'm going to say the AMD Radeon R9 295X2. It's just a little bit better than the GTX Titan Z. The price, you, you really can't beat it. It's definitely the best high, high end you can get right now. Like and subscribe for more videos. We're going to be doing the best motherboard of the month, the best CPU of the month, and the best SSD drive for the month. Check this out. Yeah.